Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM as we continue our marathon of Humphrey Bogart movies on Summer Under the Stars. Bogart is among a select few stars from Hollywood's golden age who remain instantly recognizable today. The movie we have next went a long way toward establishing Bogart's status as a cultural icon. From 1941, written and directed by Bogart's good friend John Huston, making his directorial debut, this is The Maltese Falcon. Bogart worked regularly on Broadway during the 1920s and 30s, though he didn't make much of a splash until 1935, when he was back in New York to star in the original stage production of The Petrified Forest, playing Duke Mantee, a murderer fleeing the police. By then, Bogart had already been in Hollywood five years, starting at Fox before eventually moving over to Warner Brothers. He made some noise in 1936 when he played Duke Mantee again in the screen version of The Petrified Forest, but he didn't become a major Hollywood star until 1941 in the picture he made shortly before The Maltese Falcon. That was High Sierra, released in January of 41. By the time The Maltese Falcon hit theaters in October, having Bogart at the head of the cast was a coup. Widely considered the grandfather of American film noir, The Maltese Falcon is based on a best-selling novel by DeShiel Hammett. Bogart stars as an abrasive but clever private eye, Sam Spade, a role perfect for an actor who mastered tough, unflinching characters, men driven by their cynicism. Bogart rose above other tough guy actors because he had a gift for infusing these hard-boiled men with a credible degree of humanity that made it impossible to root against them. The story begins in Sam Spade's San Francisco office where a beautiful woman, played by Mary Astor, hires him to work on a missing persons case. Things quickly take a sinister and deadly turn and his search is redirected to a priceless statue of a black bird, the Maltese Falcon. The impeccable supporting cast here includes Peter Lorre, Elijah Cook Jr., and Sidney Greenstreet making his big screen debut at the age of 61 and earning a Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination in the process. The movie also earned nominations for Best Picture and for John Huston's adapted screenplay. Here it is, the second truly great Humphrey Bogart picture from Warner Brothers, 1941, The Maltese Falcon.